thing about Asheville is you can walk out your door and you can be in, for all intents and purposes, complete wilderness in five minutes. I'm in the country, and yet right now we are in the heart of the town, we're right downtown, and I've always, all my life, wanted to live in the country, and often have. I get to have both worlds. I find it to be um, an incredibly supportive and um, just engaging community. I'm, I'm amazed, especially when I started making bread, because I began to meet so many people the different people from different countries. It's cosmopolitan, believe it or not. It's that sense that you wake up in the morning and even though I live alone, I don't feel as though I'm in this alone. And I have that great feeling that, um, you know, I'm, I'm part of a tribe, I guess is what it is. Um, my name is Anna Fessenden and I am a village bread baker, <laughs> the village baker. I have a product line of nine different breads. Now, some of them are the same bread. For example, I have something called a country white, which is a, a very kind of rustic white, but with a lot of whole wheat and wheat germ put back in. So it's a dark crumb. By crumb, I mean that inside here is, it's not white, in other words. And then I take that country white and I add whole black olives and rosemary, so that's the second line. So when I say I have nine different products, it doesn't mean I necessarily bake nine different kinds of bread, but I'll take the same doughs and incorporate different ingredients in them. Dave is my brother, who is uh, 23 months older than me. We um, grew up very, very close. Anna started her bread thing, and both Helen our older sister and myself, we, we always, there's a great deal of competition and we got into it as well, but none of us could hold a candle to Anna's careful cooking techniques. Bread is one thing, there's not a lot of room for improvisation. It, bread is, is, is a creature of habit and it really likes to be made a certain way and temperatures and the chemistry of it need consistency. Now that I'm selling it and making it for people to eat, there's another whole dimension of just the joy that it brings people. I just can't tell you. I've never had a job in my life where people stop me on the street and hug me for what I'm doing. I know? am Nan Peretti, and I own Elmer Store, uh, where we sell and our bread. You can do the baguettes, and truly, you are in, in France. You do the, the rye, you're in Germany. You can, you can take a whole trip around the world just eating your bread. I recommend it. I don't like to buy good bread, search out good bread. I mean, I remember spending six months in Germany. They make good bread over there, but I've never had any bread that I like better than hers. The French bread is absolutely stunning stuff, and it's you got to eat it all in one day. And it's the problem is, if you buy like a half a baguette, you're going to eat the whole thing yourself. So you have to pretend by buying a whole one and knowing that you're going to share. Eat them but, right away. They don't last for a while. It's like buying a candy bar. <laughs> you can put it in the refrigerator, but it doesn't mean you're not going to go back in there real shortly to go get another piece of it. I love Anna Fessenden, and I love Anna's bread. It's been such a great addition to town, and I love seeing Anna bike down the street with her basket of bread. There's nothing better than that. <laughs>